Hi folks, Mark Allen, VH Spring Solutions LLC and VHSpringSolutions.com and this is the short version of the benefits um, of the new VH Spring Solutions Advanced Trigger Subassembly with Magazine Eject Assist Spring and the uh, probably the best way to, to uh, show these benefits is to make a comparison. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, positioning in the trigger guard area and maybe will be better to show just like this we'll see uh, this is the positioning in the trigger guard area in a unmodified Browning high power actually new in the box out of the box 26 years old but never fired nor modified and this is the BH spring solutions advanced uh, trigger for high power pistols what you're going to notice first is the positioning in the trigger guard area and i want to show you just as by a comparison you know john browning was a guy that was really known for knowing what the trigger finger likes so take a look at the positioning of the high power trigger compared to a 1911 compared to john browning's 22 target pistol compared to his modified 1910 model called the 1922 and the Browning high power uh, where this trigger was actually completed by Diodone save it came out looking like that and um, what we're showing you here is just kind of the reality that everybody dealt with with uh, Browning high power triggers right out of the box it's gritty loud um, feels terrible to the finger. It's a heavy trigger break. Um, and quite honestly, watch the reset. It's, it's quite a bit of trigger travel actually. Um, so, and the reset is kind of uh, marginal and, uh, just as, uh, kind of gritty. The, uh, magazines were notorious for kind of doing that and not leaving the, uh, not leaving the handgun. The BH uh, Spring Solutions trigger, along with being nine millimeters wide, uh, which is quite a difference to the finger. And this one is uh, gently rifle serrated, it's called, uh, or competition rifle serrated. This is a very straight back trigger pull. It's also very uh, silky smooth. Uh, it's also a short trigger pull. That is enabled by the fact that these trigger sub-assemblies all require a minor amount of fitting. And in, in that, it makes possible a very uh, short trigger pull, more uh, Browning-esque, if you will, and a nice positive uh, reset. We also have positive magazine eject assist. That is also by action of a spring. Included with the... BH Advanced Trigger Subassembly with Magazine Eject Assist R4 Trigger Return Springs. This was never possible in the original uh, trigger subassembly of the high power, but from high to low or strong to weakest of these trigger return springs, you can expect about two pounds of range difference. So um, in our own testing here with a, a 2003 um, FN high power, um, with this uh, trigger return spring, the heaviest of the uh, four, we were about six to six and a quarter pounds um, uh, trigger brake weight, and it went down by about a half a pound. Uh, to the lightest one was uh, breaking four and a quarter to four and a half kind of range. So about two pounds of range difference between high and low. And uh, high power owners have never had that ability, and this is just by changing out a spring. The magazine eject assist spring, this is a completely new um, design invention by BH Spring Solutions and RDIH, uh, as well as the entire trigger subassembly. This is what causes your magazine to leave the handgun. And I want to show you real quickly on the inside here just kind of what that looks like. And here's the new trigger subassembly. You can see the trigger pawl or trigger lever rising there with the uh, trigger. But take a look down here inside the frame. Right there is the tail of the magazine eject assist spring. And it just got picked up by the magazine and it just wound the spring. And that has now, this magazine eject assist spring has no effect at this point on trigger pull 
whatsoever. Um, and this trigger subassembly can be used without the magazine eject assist spring. If you just, it's not your thing and you don't like magazines leaving uh, persuasively, then, you know, it's okay. You can use this trigger subassembly actually without it. Uh, the magazine eject assist spring has been a thing I've really appreciated uh, quite a bit. So there you go. There's the quick version of the benefits of the BH Advanced Trigger Subassembly with mag magazine eject assist.